I'm Lauren from Lauren Michelle Art. Thank you for being here and watching my channel. In my last video, I used this Lazy Susan that I made to spin out a design on canvas. And I still have some of the colors left over, so I'm going to be making another one using the same colors. Attempt number two. I'm gonna be using a carmine red, primary magenta, primary yellow, gold, and a vermilion orange and white as my base. So let's jump right in. Use the blow dryer on low. Ooh, it's making cells over here. stretch that a little bit too thin. I don't know if you can see it, the color is breaking apart just a little bit. It's okay, this is a, a learning process. I really love all of this though. I might let this dry and fix these areas where the paint started to break apart with a paintbrush because I really like this one. I like the negative space. I like this intense edge right here. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm not sure about this part right here, but I'm also not sure what to do about it because it is right in the center. I love how much of this is still here. Interesting little cells right there. Let me torch one more time. Ooh. Just a little bit of color right at the end. If I don't like it, I can always get rid of it. here. I'm going to show you the dried result. Hi. Okay, I like this one. I like the way that this came out. I was able to keep more of the negative space, so I was very happy about that. I might even make one more. I still have colors left over. I mixed up way too much paint. I might make a bigger one. I might make a really big one. I think I need to make my base paint a little bit thinner. Maybe the petal colors just a tiny bit thinner as well, but I don't want to go too thin because I don't want them to over mix. I really like this beautiful blend and that won't happen if the paints are too thin. I don't want them to muddy together. I think I'm gonna try a few new things in my next painting, but I'm learning a lot. This is so much fun. I love this technique, but I really like these bright colors. The magenta with the orange, with the vermilion. I really love this pink and orange combination together. That's really pretty. A lot of the yellow got lost. So this is my second time using this technique with the Lazy Susan that I made, and I'm really happy with the way that this one came out. Okay, here is this one, the second one I did. This is with the paint still wet. Take you in close. Let's 
see right here where the paint kind of broke apart other than that though I think it's beautiful side right there. I love the center. This one's really pretty. I think I'll just touch up those little areas when the paint is dry. Okay, I'll show you the dried results. Okay, and here are the dried results.